Hi guys, are you finding it hard to forgive someone? It isn't easy. Stay tuned. My name is Carol and welcome to the Baby Boomer channel. This channel is by a Baby Boomer, me, and is for Baby Boomers. And for anyone else who wants to know more about us fabulous Baby Boomers. I want to give a shout out to all my viewers. I really appreciate everyone's support. So don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. Thanks guys. Why is it so hard to forgive? I know, I know they did you wrong and you don't think that you can ever, ever forgive them. And I hear you, but that's your pride talking. No one wants to take the blame and everyone wants to have their feelings validated. Most of us struggle getting past painful memories in our lives and we were all taught that we should learn to forgive and to forget as children. But it's hard to forgive when we think that we are right. There are also so many things that a lot of us are unable to forgive and forget from our childhood till death starts knocking on our door. And then it's too late. We always remember how someone makes us feel. If we carry that burden with us our entire life, it will diminish our ability to experience true happiness and fulfillment in life. Sadly, many of us dwell on the past and that creates more pain and disappointments. So what is true forgiveness? People who say that they forgive, but still bring up the past, prove that they haven't truly forgiven. When you truly forgive someone, the past is supposed to remain in the past, and it should never ever be brought up again. True forgiveness is when you can look inside and see no hatred, negativities, or any strings attached to past bitter experiences. True forgiveness is like giving a gift. You give it with no strings attached. You may remember the event as if it were just yesterday, but true forgiveness means not to bring it up in the future. Whenever you feel like it, Forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself. Forgiveness gives you, the person you feel has wronged you, the freedom needed to move on. So how do you forgive? You have to remember that people who make your life miserable are usually quite miserable themselves. You have a choice to let go and to forgive or to carry a grudge and live with blame and anger. Both are bad for you because these are negative traits and they diminish who you really are. Even if you were technically right in the blame game, deep inside you won't feel good because of all the negativity and the anger. What we all want is a sense of gratification and happiness in life. Holding grudges to your grave is not something you should wish for yourself or for others. We only live once, so don't leave behind disappointments and regrets. You free yourself when you learn to let go of blame and start to embrace compassion for others. You may not understand why that person wronged you, but you can validate that they were entitled to their feelings at the time. We need to learn how to put negativity behind us and start to enjoy life to its fullest. 
Any kind of negativity will hold you back and limit your happiness. It is up to you. It is completely your choice to free yourself from all of the pain and bitterness that comes from not being able to forgive others. That bitterness discolors everything that you do and each interaction you have with others until you decide to let it go. Forgiveness allows you to lift that burden and to see life from a different viewpoint. Forget about your pride. It's about moving on in your life without being stuck in the negative past. When you are angry, it's hard to understand that forgiveness works two ways. It lets someone get away with actions that are unacceptable, and that's the side that most of us see. But there's much more to it than that. It lets you get away without all the bitterness. If you don't learn to forgive, you begin to be the perpetrator, and the lack of forgiveness is every bit as wrong as holding on to the memory and allowing it to cloud your judgment in the future. The problem is that if you can't let go, the outcome can actually be more serious than the actual event. We all make mistakes, but they are only mistakes when they get in the way of relationships to the extent that you can never ever go back. When you cannot forgive, you imprison yourself rather than the person you cannot forgive. You suffer from anger, hate, negativity, lack of trust, and all the things that make you less of a person. Even if you've had someone wrong you unjustly, if you can just let go of all these feelings, you become stronger without becoming hardened to life. You retain your innocence and learn that your method of dealing with negative emotions serves you in a much more positive way. If someone wronged you, don't let their wrong become yours. Let go and move on. Forgiveness. So what's in it for me? No matter what the past offered or left you with, forgiveness and acceptance of life is a healthier way to go and makes you less bitter. Did you know that you can make yourself emotionally and mentally stronger by just learning to forgive? Let's look at the ways in which forgiveness helps you. After all, this is a fundamental benefit that you deprive yourself of if you cannot forgive. Forgiveness requires strength of character rather than weakness. Those who are able to forgive are more likely to live happier lives. Remember, it is our responsibility to make this world a much better place. Once you experience letting go, you will never go back to the bitterness again because letting go is so much better. You begin to see the good in you and it isn't being vain or conceited. You'll be free from all the bad things that have happened, and that truly is a gift that only those who are prepared to look beyond remorse and anger will experience. That is the freedom in forgiveness. Studies that were done on forgiveness show there are other benefits as well. Forgiveness is good for your heart health. It helps you to lower high blood pressure because you are able to let go of the cause of that biochemical change in your body that anger and stress cause. There are so many stress-related ailments these days and many of them have to do with the way you look at life. Compassionate people retain their innocence and can welcome the world with open arms. Whereas those who cannot forgive will always put barriers between themselves and the world. All religions and philosophies agree that forgiveness is valuable to your soul or to the very way that you look at life and letting go allows you to form relationships and make real connections with the world. Forgiveness 
opens up the path to empathy. If you can't see the world through the eyes of someone else, you limit your own viewpoint. Empathy makes you a more compassionate person and helps you to peacefully coexist with others whose opinions differ from your own. Since the whole world's way of living is based upon what people think, forgiveness frees you from the hold of anger and indignation. You see the world in a much broader perspective and are able to understand differences of opinion. Forgiveness is extremely powerful. It enables you to be free of all the negative feelings that you may go through as a result of being closed-minded. And no one likes a closed-minded person. Today's quote. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. There is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. When we discover this, we are less prone to hate our enemies. By Martin Luther King, Jr. So guys, how do you feel about forgiveness? Please feel free to comment below and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching the Baby Boomer channel. Bye guys.